right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I want to play you a little clip that I played last night about Private Lavina Johnson. It's only a few minutes long. To the listeners that heard it last night, if you, you know, if you don't want to hear it again, feel free to turn it down. But uh, I'll, I'll sit and and scream it, you know, from bullhorns as many times as I have to. For uh, even if I only get one new person introduced to it, it's important that everybody find out about these instances instances of uh, rape and Lavina Johnson's case is something that I feel needs to have spotlight brought back on it because I don't know if they've ever actually figured it out if uh, they might have but from what I can tell they still haven't figured out exactly who did it I know that uh, there was uh, somebody at uh, different people you know different blogs different reports alternative news media investigative reports had said that there's links uh, or evidence that it was a Blackwater agent which is just I mean Anybody with half a brain can listen to what happened, and uh, you could tell that's pretty much probably what happened was that a, uh, a a private contractor did it. But let me let me play the clip for you. It's a, from a local news station, and this was about 2007, and this was two years after the fact already. So she was killed, and I think it was 2005 when she was killed. But this is a news story about Private uh, Lavina Johnson, who now actually was posthumously promoted to private first class, so we should call her by what she is now. So let's call her private first class, Lavina Johnson. Here's a little bit about her story. Lavina Johnson is clouded in controversy and allegations of a cover-up. News Force Matt Sesney was there as investigators exhumed the body of Private Johnson and conducted a new autopsy. For almost two years, Private Lavina Johnson's body has been at Jefferson Barracks Cemetery. Her family, believing some secret about her death, is still there, waiting to be found. I'm not going to stop until my daughter's name's cleared. It was an April morning when workers exhumed Johnson's casket at Jefferson Barracks to continue the search for answers. Answers different from the ones Johnson's family has been getting from the military. 19-year-old Lavina died in July of 2005 at a base in Iraq. The Army determining Johnson killed herself with a single gunshot. But the more they looked into her death, the more doubts that were raised. Military documents showing her state of mind is happy and healthy. No bullet found in the tent where she died. A possible trail of blood near the tent. And evidence that someone tried to set the tent on fire. But you come to my front door and you make a serious allegation about my daughter and that put me on alert that something was wrong. So they said that she killed herself. So she smashed herself in the face, broke her own nose, knocked her own, hit herself so hard that she knocked her own teeth back. You know how hard you have to do that? You know how painful it is? It's not easy to do to yourself, okay? You'd really have to, like, be masochistic or messed up in the head to be able to pull that off. So... Smashes her own face in so hard she breaks her own nose, pushes her teeth back, um, bruises, you know, uh, I guess slight uh, lacerations to her body, shoots herself in the head with her gun while she's on the ground, shoots herself in the head with a gun that's next to her, positioned next to her perfectly. And I guess after she shoots herself in the head, she's not dead yet and decides to try to light her tent on fire. And I may add, I don't know, I don't, I don't uh, remember if they, if they said it yet, but you'll hear it. They, somebody poured lye into her vagina. Now, why would they do that? Because it would cover up the uh, semen and any other uh, epithelial cells that might have, uh, the guy might have shedded during the, um, or shed it, listen to me, he might have shed during the uh, attack. So to destroy the DNA evidence, you'd put the lie in there. It would completely destroy everything. And there were cuts uh, to her uh, vagina as well, post-mortem. So what do you call that? Genital mutilation. But she did this to herself. She committed suicide. Remember, that's what the Army said. She committed suicide. And so I just made a determination that me and my family was going to work until we found out what that was. And their determination led them to this. A single salute from her father, himself a veteran, and then Johnson's body taken to a private autopsy. An autopsy News 4's camera was permitted to view. Johnson Lavina L., 
St. Louis Chief Medical Examiner oh, Dr. Michael Graham you. led the autopsy along with St. Louis County Medical Examiner Dr. Mary Case. The team spending three hours examining Johnson's body, taking samples, photographs, and using their forensic skills to look for any clues. And then there's some discoloration right along here. Okay, got it? Okay. At least for now, experts are calling the results inconclusive and are looking for more information on Johnson's weapon, fueling new speculation whether it could have been used in her death. It is all part of the family's search to try and find out what happened. And the message is now reaching to Congress with support coming from the House and Senate. We've got to find the truth about what happened to this young lady. Her family deserves that at a minimum. And we need to know in terms of keeping the armed services accountable. The story of Johnson's suicide doesn't add up to her friends in North St. Louis County, who describe a 19-year-old who seemed happy to be in the military. She was very optimistic about, you know, the whole military experience and going off to college. And it just, it, no. And so therefore you believe there's something more to the story than I guess. Absolutely, like. there is. Because the person that they're describing, you know, that's not the Lavina that I know. It is a mystery that for now still is a mystery. We're a strong family. We're a close family. And that's, that's helped a lot. Do you feel like you're getting closer to the truth? Absolutely. I do. As painful as the exhumation was, the Johnson family believes it was necessary. And will continue to stay in contact with the Johnson family on final results of the private autopsy. Also, members of a House committee, including Congressman Lacey Clay, are waiting on a request for the Pentagon to hand over all the documents, photos, and names in the Johnson investigation in Iraq. So this is a story we continue to follow. Matt Sesney, News 4, St. Louis. Wrong with him. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that's just a little bit on the story of PFC Lavina Johnson. Now, what I would like you to do is take this information and run with it. Do some homework. Do some research. Put a video together. I know there's some pretty good video editors out there that listen to my show. It's not that hard. Any of us can do it. So go out there, and I want you guys to put a video together and do me the favor, okay, if not anybody else, do me the favor, okay, if not PFC Levina Johnson, and just put a video together with some updated information about her case, w regardless if it's good or bad, because this hasn't been updated in years, and it, nobody, uh, I guess, you know, it kind of fell by the wayside, cold case, I guess, and nobody really knows anything, and I would investigate it myself, but... I don't have time. So if somebody goes, I'll, I'll even sweeten the pot. If somebody goes to the, the length of putting together something really informative and you upload it to your YouTube channel, no matter how long it is, uh, send me the link and I'll make a whole page about it. And, you know, we'll, we can write an article or do something special. And I'll hook you up with a federaljack.com T-shirt. Uh, I, I don't have many extra larges left. I only have a few, but I have a bunch of larges and mediums and some uh, only a few smalls left. If you're anywhere near the chat room, look in the chat. Uh, I'll, I'll drop the pictures in again. But in the beginning uh, of the show, there were two pictures in there, front and back of the T-shirts. Or you can go to uh, our fan page on Facebook, Fed Jack, F-E-D space J-A-C-K, Fed Jack. Look up the fan page. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And I'm serious about what I said. I'm completely dead. Serious. You may put together a good video. You can use the old footage and stuff, like I said, because if you have a, a, an account that you can upload over uh, 15 minutes, just upload it to your accounts. Shoot me a link, whatever. If you have a description, whatever, we could work on an article together. We'll make it go viral. We'll get it a ton of exposure. And um, if, it's, if you really put some effort into it and we help uh, try to at least update this girl's story at the very least, if not, maybe we could try to bring her some justice. Uh, and I, I should actually call her a soldier and give her the respect she's due. But if we can try to, uh, if if the justice was brought to her and we can bring that to the public, that's fine. If we can just update the story or if somebody else, if somebody out there actually has something real, uh, it, you know, if they're, you know, I, I doubt that I, they would send me breaking information. But even if you did, if you knew something, you could always uh, send us that. And, you know, if you wanted to talk about it or whatever, anyway, 
if you make a good video and you you put updated information as to what happened, not only will I publicize it, but um, you know we'll talk off air, obviously, and I will send you a, a free federaljack.com T-shirt for your efforts and for doing this. And um, if it, if you actually go above and beyond with the 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 depth of your research, I guess, um, and you, depending on what you find out, uh, we can even maybe make a, uh, a show out of it or half a show, maybe come on for a half hour or, uh, an hour and you'd even be able to plug your own YouTube channel and stuff. So if you're an independent researcher, this is a serious, serious call to action. I don't have the time to do it. I run federal Jack myself. I do all my own, uh, production work with the radio show. I just don't have the time, ladies and gentlemen. I can't do everything myself. And uh, I, it's hard to get somebody to try to be your assistant for free. I've tried for the past like two years. And it's really hard to get people that are serious. I have over 6,000 subscribers to our, our on our fan page. And I'll get two or three people that are serious about helping out when I put a call to action. Hey, we need this. We need that. It, so it, it's really hard. And I'm not ragging on anybody. I know times are tough for everybody. So the independent researchers that are out there, you know, do me the favor, do her the honor. Let's try to, you know, at the very least bring her story, uh, to you know, shed some more light on it and at least update it at the very least, if that's all we can do. If justice was brought and we can expose the person that did it and the, the guy's still alive. Personally, I think it was probably a black water or whatever, triple canopy, whatever the hell other, uh, contractor they had over there but if we can at least update her story and put a good video together about it getting her information out there and telling her story let's at least shed some light on it at the very least if nothing else and i'm not asking for any pr promotion of myself either you don't have to put you know popeye down a rabbit hole federal jack none of that you don't have to mention orion talk radio in there this is about her this isn't about me but I, I can afford to give you a T-shirt. I mean, it's it's not much, but it's all I have. So take it or leave it. Anyway, run with it. There's thousands of you that listen to the broadcast weekly. So take the idea and run with it, please. We need more people to step up.